What's up guys, it's me Chris, and I'm just getting in the Camaro today. About to work on one of these problems I told you about in the last video. We've got a, a TPMS light on that I'm trying to get out. And so I'm gonna try to see if I can figure out how to get that out. I did buy this little tool right here. So my goal today is to either A, get the system set, or B, figure out some way to pinpoint which one of these TPM, TPMS sensors needs to be replaced so that I can get that done this week. Either way, I'm gonna show you everything in this video. So let's get started. So right when you start the car, you see you get that service, uh, service tire monitor right there and then we keep that that traction light on or the little exclamation point with the tire tracks under it so that's what we want to get rid of and let me turn the steering wheel so you can see that better that's what we want to get rid of and we want to get rid of this so I went out and I bought a tool hopefully to help alleviate that I've got to go get some gas real quick and then we'll go ahead and figure out if we can make this work or not hopefully we can so fingers crossed and it just needs to be reset because the tires were kind of flat when I bought the car the seat belt is like way down there and this is actually in a good spot it's normally even lower than that so I have to open the door to get the seat belt out and it drives me freaking insane so I bought some seat belt keepers from Amazon that I'm gonna be putting on so that's a huge deal so I'll be working on that today as well so hopefully we can get everything situated I'm also working on a truck build a GMC with my buddy Jonathan so and I'm working on my forerunner. So there's a lot of different things that we're trying to build. And I normally don't show you guys this kind of stuff, but you know, I'm just gonna start showing you everything because why not? And it's content for the channel. And I think it's important for you to see kind of everything that I'm into because I'm into a lot of different weird things. So to the gas station, we're gonna grab some 93. Then we're gonna go and try to get rid of this dreaded uh, TPMS light. Press set to relearn. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, now we got that, we got this tool, and so we're gonna see if it works. We basically hold it and it's going to horn should beat. We start with the, the front wheel and go around, so let's see what we got. It's one. Let's get the other one. So that's a good start. Two. We're gonna catch the third one, hopefully. This might be where my problem is, boys and girls. My guess is both of these backs are out. So it's looking like this one's dead and the back one is dead, which means the front two are probably gonna follow. So I can order four of these guys for like 50 bucks. So I'm gonna do that like right now. I'm just looking at Amazon right now. There's a couple different ones out here. I think these are all probably be the same. I'm pro I could get these Denso ones. I do trust Denso a lot. They make really good stuff, but there's like a lot of different ones. Just take your pick. So um, these mobile trons are seem to be nice. They have a really good record. They got 213 reviews. Then these have 600 reviews. So I'm probably gonna go with these guys right here. Let's look at them and see what we got. We got boom, boom. This is what happens. The battery goes out in these things and that's why you have the problem that I'm having. But you, uh, any shop can put them in. So I'm just gonna go to the guys that normally do my work and have them swap them out. TPMS is not a big deal. The good news is that all my tires are holding pressure like they're supposed to. So that's not a big issue. Um, but it's, you know, little things. So I just gotta, uh, I'm gonna do this TMPS thing, TPMS thing, then I'm gonna do brakes and rotors. I'm gonna do slide and drill rotors, uh, and I'm gonna do a nice set of brakes. I'll take you along on that journey as well. And that'll be the last mod that I do to the car before we go down the path of getting this guy to the shop to get the cam put in, because that'll be the next big thing. And we're gonna do probably cam, headers, um, conversion, to LS3, we're gonna do full exhaust at that time as well. And we're gonna do full valve train at that time as well. So we should be in good shape. But yeah, car's looking pretty stout. Um, this is Josh's Mustang that I was telling you about. This is the EcoBoost, and this is a 2020, right? Yeah. 2020, how many miles on this thing? Now, little seven. Look, my buddy Ivan pulling up. Ivan, ain't this a thousand dollar bill? This a thousand dollar bill, ain't it? thousand dollar bill. I've been pulling up. So we out here just goofing. 
Uh, he lives around the street, so I figured he'd show up at some point. This is my new recording spot. It's great because it's right out here, you guys, at the strip mall. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's cool that if my friends are driving by, because we all live kind of close, they can pull up and we can have a great talk. So we can still social distance, you know, Corona. So it's cool. Just got it. Hey, I'm going to look under the, it's the EcoBoost VC. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's hot. He just got this thing. We both on paper tags. So don't judge us. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna get mine before he is here September. <laughs> I almost bought a Mustang, but I just went ahead and went with a Camaro just to do something different. Um, but yeah, this is this ain't sick. It can make sick two power two? too. Or is, it, or is that the 3.5? I'm not sure. What is it, Josh? You got the stick in there somewhere, don't you? Yeah, I did, on it. Not so you should say what I need here. Um, no, it just say Eco Boost right here. I'm not sure. Somebody in the comments gonna say you dummy. But yeah, there's a little turbo <laughs> right there. The turbo. Yeah, right here, two three. It's a two three. So yeah, okay, there you go. It's a two three eco boost. Yeah, got two three eco boost. Still should make pretty good power. Josh disrespecting it already. Yeah. But yeah, got Mustang in the seats. So yeah, this thing's sick, man. It is an auto. Smells like new. I love that dashboard. It's got that carbon fiber on it. This thing is sick. He got he got a Ford hat in the back. He a Ford man now. Boo. But now. So yeah guys, just wanted to kind of show you guys what we are. Again, uh, Ivan by the way is like seven foot tall, just in case you guys didn't know that, he's, he's a giant. Um, just so you guys know, this is what we got. So, I'm gonna keep these regular wheels on here too, I already told y'all that, so don't say anything about it, uh, unless you wanna give me some Z28 wheels, or sell me some, I'd be glad to buy them from you for the right price. Also, um, I need some recommendations on the hood. I do want, I want to add the heat extractor, so let me know about that as well, and I'm going to replace the SS badging and all that stuff, don't worry about that, that's coming down the road. Main thing right now though, is to make sure that we get that back wheel poking out a little bit, because I think it's tucked in a little bit too far, so that 11 inch wheel will definitely do that, we're going to go with a 10 on the front, we're going to go with some new fresh tires, some sliding drill rotors, we're going to do the cam work I talked about, and then next year, if my money's right, and if these videos take off, We'll be adding a pro charger. So I'm real excited. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll keep you posted. Um, I'll do an update on this video once I get the TPMS sensors installed, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, probably Wednesday before I get them installed or Tuesday night. And I'll let you guys know. Until then, I will see you later. Bye. A few moments later. All right, guys. So this is the other thing I almost forgot that I was going to tell you about. This is where my seat bed is most of the time when I get in the car. If I hold it just right, at an angle, you can see that little dot was right there. I'm gonna find that spot again, which is about right here. Hopefully I can get through here. Yeah, you can see it right there. Put that on. That's it. Go right there. Three days later. I'm back with an update on the TPMS sensors for the Camaro. So I got the new sensors in and I'm headed to the shop now to hopefully get them installed. Um, I did purchase them off Amazon, so we're gonna see how it goes. Um, it shouldn't take too long to get these installed. Then I'm gonna go through the uh, reset process again where you hold the little tool that I got right here and it should calibrate them and everything should be everything. Three of the four look really clean, but this one looks all ate up. So I don't know what happened inside of that wheel, but it is what it is. Um, this one looks really clean. That one probably still worked. <laughs> that one actually looks reasonably clean, and this one looks really clean. So I just got these just to see. I'm gonna trash them, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys what was going on with that. I'm gonna go ahead and go and try to reset this thing here in a second. It shouldn't take but a couple seconds and hopefully we're done with that, thank God, if it all works. But knowing me and knowing my luck, something's gonna be kinda wacky, so we're just gonna kinda see how it goes. Um, once we're done with that, we do have brakes and we have rotors coming in. 
this weekend from Power Stop. So we're gonna be installing brakes and rotors probably on Sunday because I'm gonna go out with my wife on Saturday. And so yeah, it should be pretty, mm, pretty good. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna go meet Jonathan, see what we can do here. I'm, I'm gonna hit you guys to what he's doing with his car. So you definitely, with his truck, excuse me. So you definitely wanna do that. And then we'll just kinda go from there. Uh, once all that's done, I'll tell you the next step. So we're just gonna keep going with this car until we can get it where we want it to go. So yeah. I got Jonathan here. He's about to fall out the side of the car. We're gonna do this real quick. I gotta go through this reset uh, scenario so that I can try to use the TMP, the TPMS uh, reset tool. Uh, I got it to work on the front too the last time, but it fouled on the back side. And the way it goes is front driver, front passenger, rear passenger, rear driver, and it should be set. So cross your fingers, we're gonna go ahead and try this. Hopefully it works. It shouldn't be that big a deal, but we wanna get that that uh, little exclamation point off the dashboard because it's driving me nuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and initiate the sequence here. Um, hopefully everything is everything. And let's see how to do it. I gotta remember the process, so bear with me. Oh, 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 I just saw it. That's it. Select. We're gonna relearn, and once I go to relearn, it's gonna haunt the horn's gonna blow. Alright, so it's ready to learn. One down. We're gonna try one more. Two down. This is what we hung up the last time, so let's see. Three down. Oh, we're getting close, baby. Let's see. Moment of truth. And the shoe beep again. Boom. All set. You can clearly see now that we do have tire pressure, which is awesome. I'm gonna get that back down to about 35 because I did get these put in today. And that's it. Uh that sensor light should go away. Um, I don't I, I know why it's like that. There's too much air in here. So I'm gonna get the air down to a normal pressure and then that light should go away and we should be all set. But this is the first time since I had this car, it's only been three weeks. This is the first time since I had it that I can see that we do not have, that we have tire pressure. So that is awesome. We got 35 all the way around, so I went ahead and reset that, which is amazing. And we have that little exclamation point with the tire tree hit that's missing. So that wasn't a big deal, but you know, you just never know when you buy parts off of the internet, they're gonna work correctly in your car or not. A uh, real quick shout out to Jonathan because he's helping me. We're producing car content a lot more now. We want to get into that. I want to do some stuff with my truck. This is his truck, and I do want to show it real quick in the video. Um, I'm gonna put his. I'm gonna put his information out there too, so that you guys can can uh, follow his build because he's going to be doing some wheels and probably a lift and who knows whatever. I think he's got a wrap plan uh, for this week. So he's got a lot of things going on. So the next big thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a, a brake job. We're going to do brakes and rotors because these brakes and rotors are trash. I've been pulling up in the mean machine. So we got the brakes and rotors going on right now. We do have the Brembo's on here, but we're going to go with slotted and drill this weekend. So that's going to be fun. And after we get through with brakes and rotors, uh, the next thing is we're gonna go in the motor. So that's gonna be the next big thing for this specific build Y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye It's hot out here. I'm doing this for you. It's just as much as I have for me got everything going on We are monitoring the reservoir over there to make sure that the brake fluid is not going over um, but yeah, we got the fronts done got the wheels repainted and Everything's looking pretty good